So another very commonly used technique from Music Concrete, and also very common today, is reversing sounds. So originally, to get a reverse sound using tape, you just put the tape on backwards and you play it back. So you record something like the classic cymbal crash. So rather than it having a strong attack and being like an impact, we can reverse the sound and now it has the opposite effect of where it swells up, building to a crescendo. A classic technique that evolved from this is preverb. So if I put the sample back to the way it originally was, it's a simple case of just adding a lot of reverb to the sound. And again, so rather than the bounces, I'm just going to actually freeze this. And then I'll just get another track. And I'll just copy this with the tail onto the other track. That will give me my, my reverb sound. So I just unfreeze this. Stretch this out, and now we just reverse this sound, and I'll just do a quick edit on it here. So we'll just use this section here, and I'll bring this right up, having even just a bit of a crossover with our cymbal sound. And I'll turn off the, I'm gonna turn off the reverb on the original sound, and then we'll hear what it sounds like. I could even fade that in a bit more if you wanted to, but you get the idea classic technique. The other thing that you can do is that when you're reversing a sound, you can use it as a side chain. So amplitude modulation was a big effect that they used back in the day, where you could use the amplitude of one sound to affect another sound. So I have a sound recording here of me just banging the grill from a cooker. So let's try and put that into a loop, so like a two bar loop. And what I'll do is I'll put this into repitch mode. And we'll just use the equivalent of speeding up the tape. So it'll also alter the pitch of the sound, but that's not so much a concern for what we're doing here. So let's trim that part off at the end. Now we need another sound that we can put a side chain on and use this as our source. So now I've set up a synth on another track here. And to control the volume, I could do this in various ways, but I'm going to use a compressor. And we're going to use the original sound that we heard of the grill banging as our sidechain source. So I'll open this up, put that to sidechain, and put it from the grill banging. Now I'll just turn off this channel, because I don't need to hear this. We're just using this as a source to control the volume on this track. So it's kind of got some impacts here at the minute. So the sidechain is probably going to be quite abrupt. So now we'll just play the synth. Okay, it's tweaking my compressor. So we can hear the volume being controlled by the other track. So you can hear kind of pumping. So let's see what happens now if we reverse it. So before we reverse it, because I've changed the pitch, I'm just going to consolidate it. So that when I reverse it, it'll keep the same position. So I'll hit reverse. So now rather than having an impact, it's sweeping up to a crescendo. 